Hello everyone, welcome back to Slurred Words. Play some FTL. Uh, <laughs> let's go to the store first here. We are right now looking for the stress beacon. We're a little bit into this sector because I forgot the end of the last episode. A little tired, but now I'm starting to wake up. And I think I'm I think I got all the traders out. All the uh all the little mistakes you can make at the beginning of a recording session. I think I think we're done with that. The energy can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The energy hive at this beacon are selling equipment just for that. The scrap recovery arm is pretty, actually, pretty decent. We've got so much scrap. We gotta think about winning too, you know. I think, I think we buy other fuel first off, and I think we buy the heavy laser enough too. Oh wait. Okay, let's get here to the quest. You search near the coordinates given to you, but your search yields no results. Perhaps they were mistaken, and we leave. Oh. That's disappointing. As soon as you jump into the system, you receive a hail from a nearby NG vessel. The captain appears on your screen. Strange bug, can you assist in debugging? Let's listen to the problem. Found the functioning mantis. Believes it is human. We will receive input only from human. Danger evaluation extremely high. Provide assistance. Yeah, I'll send a human crew member. The Mantis is grateful to see another human and introduce himself as Robert Smith. He explains he is from a nearby human colony and would appreciate being returned there. Let's turn him home. The colony of a mining operation that specializes in FTL fuel. Robert's family, the head engineers, are excited to see him. They are fearful, very grateful for his return. Apparently, he ran away to join the Federation like his older brother, but was never accepted onto a ship. Yeah, it's all from a position on our ship. He graciously accepts, having always wanted to serve the Federation. You know, Smith, Robert Smith, may I call you that? You have a very interesting story, bud. In fact, real quick. I just, I just want to see something. I don't want to give away too much of my computer, but I do want to, like... See if I can. Well, this one's even after you, buddy. Let's get back there. Yes, you saw that right. I am playing on a Mac. If you got a problem with it, buy me a hug if you gave me a computer. You notice the energy colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. Turns out they're excavating uh, equipment cache from nearby med from the Federation Mantis War. They suggest it could be used to alert for selling the pursuing rebel fleet. Let's secure the cache. Defense Troll Mark One. Scrap. I was tempted about booby trapping it, but it's just there's no way to go back up and down. You receive a wide uh, ban message, freeze command sample, Sh be sure you visit our new military grade drone store opening in the sector, XR, whatever. There's a store. Okay, if we go to the store, it's gonna go here. If we go back down here, it's gonna go to here. I think we're gonna have just enough time to hit the store and get back. NG shale, ship hails, engines require necessary for trail only. For travel home, sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrades. All right. Well, I made reload wouldn't be bad. No sultans. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Another store. Well, that's a shame. We're not gonna get unlocked to sell ship today, but that's okay.
You're looking decently powerful. You arrive at a long range beacon when the FTL tribe charges, you can jump to the next sector. I I gotta respectfully decline. I want to accept, don't get me wrong. But I can't upgrade my reactor. Which we have not done yet. Let's get to the next sector. The slug home nebula. Now this is another way we can unlock another ship. So let's do I'm excited about that. The slugs developed on an ocean planet where the ability to telepathically sense other organisms was more important than sight. Today, they use this ability to navigate unfettered by the depths of the nebulous they inhabit. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we gotta watch out for some certain dialect, I think. You spot a rebel ship hiding in a nebula and stay off the radar try to engage let's uh let's prepare to engage you follow the vapor trails and surf on to the six o'clock surf on to the six o'clock when it's hot now this is what we're gonna do instead we need to me to think how we're gonna do this because they're gonna keep No, I don't I don't want to do we need to uh, just keep doing that. Hold on the Keep this. Keep doing that, okay? Another shield on this, or I guess on this now. That's annoying. We got fire somewhere on board this ship, so. I think the only way we're gonna be able to destroy the ship is if we keep firing the Leto at it. Alternatively, we can keep on trying to reach the uh, Okay, actually, we, I think we got this now. We could try to reach the fifth sector just really fast here, considering how much hull we have. And then just call this like a lost run. But I, li I like the run we got. I don't want to see if we can try and make it to sector five and upgrade a bunch. I'll tell you what, their weapon systems are very annoying. You know what? I'm just gonna jump away. How about that? <laughs> you know what? I might just do that after all, considering my luck so far. It appears to automate rebel scouts positioned within its neighborhood to warn your passing. It's powering up its FTL tribe. It gets away, no doubt. A warned flee of your position. Okay. This guy has a faster charging rate and does pretty good damage. So we're gonna go with that. Also, I need you to get on that. And by that, I mean this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're not gonna make it, unless we can get you in here. You're, it was necessary. You were, you were a necessary sacrifice, okay? Helping would actually have been a little bit more useful for other reasons, but... Okay, 
Stop that. You know what? Fuck it. Take down their weapon systems already. That's very annoying. I'll wait. I'll wait. Let's go. <laughs> okay, we got we got a chance still. The ship breaks apart, and you're relieved to know you're hopefully still one step ahead of the rebel fleet. area of the nebula seems entirely empty until a small slug transport and its escort emerges suddenly through the clouds only disappearing again in a matter of seconds okay listen you three all need to heal up so let's get y'all healed up now upgrading the shields and all that has we're starting to see the effects of we are still in hard mode. You're doing really good up to this point, which, you know, makes sense because we haven't really upgraded anything. Let's get everyone back to position. I kind of am I'm tempted to skirt around the exit. If we get close to death, I said we just like get out of here. Slug here uses a tactic you hope you never see. They use remote hacking satellite to sabotage oxygen production systems and charge fire weapons. You're going to suffocate. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh, so you got a very high shield, so I'm gonna hopefully get out of here. <laughs> it's gotta... I'm just gonna keep firing on their uh, weapon systems. I was thinking about maybe like turning on something else, but like what? I'm starting to regret spreading all that scrap, but that's okay. Bunch some under shields here. We might be actually able to take out this ship. They have no more missiles afterwards, but. Okay, we can jump if we need to. Just thinking about it, but when I there's no need to yet. Okay, okay. Fire on your shield. Okay, okay, we got this now, boys. Stop firing the Leto. That's too late. Oh, well. That's what you get for de almost depleting his oxygen. The slug ship breaks apart and your systems return to normal. You collect what you can. Alright. Yeah, let's get to the store. Let's sell some shit. A slug teleport from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spreads his wares across the helm and branches things at you. It's an interesting uh, tactic for sure. I think that might be really good, especially if we want to get through like the rest of this sector. It's also Guiles.
pour une crêpe. One moment. Okay, okay, okay. This was, uh, sorry, work email. Okay. So, for now I think we turn off the Leto. Except, we gotta do this, we gotta do it this way. If we need to, we always turn off the oxygen and turn on, back on the Leto. If we can get through these troubling times, This sector, we might actually stand a chance because we got some really powerful weapons like this, this, and this is all we need. That's all we can really upgrade. When it comes to slugs, no news is necessarily good news. However, if they are watching, they don't seem to want to confront you. Oh, well. I think we just stop like here, here, here. Maybe we go like here, here, here. I don't know. Let's go down here, let's go around, and we'll see what happens afterwards. You arrive to select two slug ships in communication range, they don't see you. Tap to account the comm frequencies, yeah. You overhear their conversation and learn they're planning to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. The pair jump off and you note down their target coordinates. Alright. Where? Next sector, I'm guessing. There are few more vicious beasts in the galaxy than a slug with his back against the wall. The faltering ship armed with fire weapons use remote hacking tools to try to disable your door system. They are going to burn you out. No, they're not. Use the letto. You met the shields. Also, what burning weapons? You have a halberd beam, which is a little scary. I'll give you that. See if we can take down the shields. One more. Go. Focus on the shields for a second. Nice. They got firebomb. Gotcha. Turn back on the oxygen. Also, Giles, we need you over here, bud. I didn't realize I was messing that up. Okay, everyone get in here now. Except for you. You get back on the ship, I guess. You stop that. All right, okay. We still got fire, but we're gonna be okay. Slug ship breaks apart, and your systems return to normal. You collect what you can. Okay. Let's see if we can, uh, We're gonna do this, except we're gonna do it like this. Alright, we wait for the fire to go out. It sounds like it has now. Wait for a second. Also, everyone turns return to positions. Giles. I didn't realize that that means. If we turn off the oxygen, we can actually have something else going on, but well. So I'll make sure we haven't upgraded our Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's uh go here for now. 
Also, I should really should have healed people up, not realizing that. If it's not unusual to feel paranoia in a structural nebula, but for once, it is unfounded. Okay, I want you two, as well as you in here. Let's get everyone healed back up. Smith can heal up too, I guess. Robert Smith, the human. Everyone will turn back to positions. Let's see. Smith, you can get back in there. I'll we'll have some extra power for you in a second. Okay, cool. Go back here. Let's save positions. And let's get to the X. I think we might be leaving this a little bit early. The long range beak is almost hidden within the nebula. With new FTL traps charged, we jump to the next sector. Yeah, I mean, we really don't got another choice. Let's, uh... We already unlocked Sultan ship, so it's not gonna consider us any good. But it is friendlier, and we are more low on scrap. I think we're gonna go to Sultan World. We're gonna get Wing on our Prayer. Bandman power? What? We did not unlock both. You're far side from Federation space here in Sultan territory. It's not clear whether the authorities will have any goodwill remaining. Still, you have to push forward. But I'll say, oh no, that was something else. That was another achievement we got. Get to Sector 5 without upgrading your reactors in a Sultan cruiser. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to um, call on this episode. We need to upgrade our weapons and our shield systems at this point. Definitely our weapons now. So we, especially if we can get like the halberd beam going with this, or the heavy laser. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be golden. Well, I'm going to call it here for now, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.